Cities of Life is a national and international day that everyone comes out to represent and stand together to say that having a death penalty is very wrong. We do this event every year because it is important that we stand for the end, the abolition of the death penalty. I was one of those persons who going to be executed for something I didn't do. In 2009, I was arrested for a crime I did not commit. I lost 15 years of my life. My case came, the first case in the history of the state of Florida where all seven Florida Supreme Court judged that I should have never even been convicted. I am number 27 exonerate from death row. Many people are on death row who are innocent of the crimes that they're being convicted of. Other people have been there 35 years, they've been exonerated. Other one 23, another one 17, another one 19. We should have abolished the death penalty for many reasons, but the main reason is that human life should be preserved. We must stop this ridiculous cruelty and end capital punishment. It's not our job to take the life that God gave it to a person. Their blood is on all of us. We would be able to keep society safe and at the same time respect the dignity of the human person. One wrong execution for one wrong man is one too many. I believe that God is calling for the, the abolishment of the death penalty. God made life, God loves life. And if we're gonna say that we love God, then it's important that we love what he loves. Cities for Life hopefully making our legislators aware that we need to put an end to the death penalty. Life sentence, which is the same thing of death penalty. The person will die in prison, but it's not upon us to execute somebody, at least not in my name. 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 It would save actually a lot of money if we follow the alternative, which is life without parole. How can we ask God to forgive us if we cannot forgive others? Why we have to take in our hands uh, God's punishment? Jesus experienced the death penalty. So I think for Christians to say we must put an end to this. I was charged, trial, convicted, and sentenced to die for something I had nothing to do with it. Life is precious and that even those that are guilty can be redeemed, rehabilitated, and they should be forgiven. Hopefully our legislators in our communities will become more aware that the people of Florida do not want people executed, and that Bell says that we are here and that we care and that we believe in life. When I hear the bell, this, uh, the 33 execution that I passed in that row, we used to hear it over there. And it has to stop with us. I know it's going to change. I don't know when. But I really believe it will change someday, somehow. Pray for the people that are up there uh, struggling in that road.